What's up guys, we are back with another scripting video, and as I said before, I probably would need help with uh, my script eventually, and we finally got to that point, so I've actually done a lot of stuff to the script without recording and all that, because uh, I got stuck for like several hours, and I didn't feel like recording all of that, getting stuck and all that, or trying to figure out how to condense getting stuck in a video. <laughs> So, uh, we ended up here, in the M MTA, Multi Theft Auto forums, and I'll say this, the MTA forums are actually really good if you need help with scripting in Multi Theft Auto. People actually get back to you pretty quickly, and they usually help you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, it's pretty useful. If you just need help or whatever. Uh, basically, I need to help with an else if kind of thing, which uh, says that if you want one thing to happen and it's false, such as what I want to do is in the pay and spray, I want it to have a cost. So if you have two, if you have two hundred dollars, you go in there, then you know, of course it's true. So then you would pay the two hundred dollars and get your vehicle fixed. And if you have less than $200, then it won't fix your vehicle, and it'll say you can't fix your vehicle to notify that you don't have enough money. So that's basically where I got stuck. I couldn't figure out how to use the LSIF to actually make that happen. Um, basically, it just does whatever it wants, kind of. <laughs> At least the way I have it. So this is my script, the script that I created, and worked on since the last video <clears throat> and this is the script that this dude posted um, to fix my issues and he said post this after the function repair vehicle thing which is right here so anything below that that's where you'd post it and then uh, basically it's supposed to function the way I wanted it to but he changed the color of the marker and the size of it it's only a size of two which is really tiny he also changed the color to red um, the repair seconds is five I didn't even know you can make a local repair seconds so apparently you can make seconds a local function didn't know that also didn't know you could add an event handler before ends so I need to figure out like how you do that because I don't really understand this part right here at all how he's able to make that happen um, but I uh, also had to kind of fix it. He didn't put ends on certain parts, so the the way he has it right here doesn't really function very well. But uh, on top of that, I tied all of these um, things, like the local door marker and all that, to close the door, as you see in the last video, which uh, I'll get around to that eventually. So basically, we'll just see what happens when you use the current script that he's showing me right now which um, it doesn't really work properly <laughs> not gonna lie so basically he made it to if you go into this red marker then it freezes your vehicle so you can't move for five seconds and then it's supposed to repair it so you go into the marker we're frozen we can't move for five seconds and then it says the vehicle is fixed but he didn't add the part to where it actually fixes the vehicle, so I have to like go back and figure that one out. Um, I already have a script, so basically I'm just going to take what he did and then put it into my script and try to like edit my script around what he did because his script actually works. It's just some of the functions aren't working properly. Which uh, one of the functions is actually uh, one of the functions that doesn't work for me, which is... <clears throat> When uh, you actually have $200 and it says your vehicle is fixed, this is what I was having a problem with and what this script doesn't fix is when your vehicle is fixed, it takes the money away. Um, it just keeps your money the same, so that's not really what I wanted. I wanted it to actually take the money away. So if you see when we have a money value of zero, which it could be anything below 200 if we go in here, it says you don't have enough money, it doesn't freeze your car or anything. Of course, the door doesn't work because it's not tied to the door. 
the way he made the script so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and use all of the parts of the script that are useful that he posted and then I'm gonna try to combine it and make it work with my script and that's basically how we're gonna finish the paint spray it's probably gonna take a while so basically I think the rest of the video after I get through explaining what my script does is basically just gonna be me trying to fix this one issue that I'm having trouble with. So since I st still have my script as it was right here, I can just do this because I actually saved this script. So all of this and do that. Then you guys can see what I created while I wasn't recording because yeah, I didn't create that script obviously, the guy who was helping me did. So you can see that I actually uh, fix all of the issues that I was having previously. <clears throat> so, this is what I've created. So you go in here, waits five seconds to repair your vehicle, and it takes $200. The door goes down, the door comes up when you're done repaired, so, uh, yeah. Then it says your vehicle's restored, obviously you can see it actually did repair the vehicle. If I go in here while the vehicle is repaired, door closes, you wait five seconds, door opens, takes money away, it says your vehicle's restored. That's one of the things that his script does that mine doesn't, is when you go into the marker and your, ver your vehicle's already repaired, it's, um... In his script, it doesn't do anything, so I need to figure out how to do that with mine and then output that your vehicle's already repaired or whatever. Um, or I could just put what his said, your vehicle's fixed. So that it doesn't actually trigger a function at all when your vehicle's already repaired. Which would make more sense. But, uh, yeah, you can see what my problem with my script is that Every time I go in here it says my vehicle is restored, and then it fixes the vehicle, even when it's not fixed, and then regardless it takes $200, so now I'm negative $600. Which is uh, obviously not what you want. Um, also I added notes here just to show you guys what I changed since the last video. Um, so I changed the set timer to emulate the timer below it, which means... Um, in my toll booth, I had a set timer thing, which I'm not even sure I even have anymore. I may have actually got rid of. I'm not sure. Um, I think it was this right here. So basically, I had one of these, and then... I had another one somewhere, I don't remember where, but uh, it had different functions. One of the things um, that I was using was still gate 1 that I copied from my other script, so uh, one of the things didn't even work. I think it was the door. I think that was what was happening when I wasn't recording, is like the door wouldn't close because like something was tied to a function that didn't even exist. Um, and then I changed the rotation from 270 to 90 degrees because in the first video, or uh, the, the first video where I actually used the door, which is like the last video, um, the door was spinning around 270 degrees, like I had it set to 270 degrees and then I had it uh, rotate back 270 degrees, and the reason why that happened if you guys noticed in the video, is because when I changed it to 90 degrees, and then I went back and looked at it, and I wasn't even paying attention, I was just paying attention to all the values that were already set, for some reason it changed to 270 rather than 90, like, I don't even know how that happened, like, I even watched the video back a few times, I have no idea how it went from 90 to 270, like, I literally don't even know. So basically the door was like spinning around like a fucking madman because it was rotating 270 degrees rather than 90. <clears throat> Which a 90 degree angle is obviously, you know, 
flat, so it was basically doing that like three or four times or however many times it takes to get to 270. Um, so yeah, it'd be three times because yeah, otherwise it'd be 360. Um, so then I made a new script to handle vehicle repairs because before like the vehicle is repairing everything on the map, which I was afraid of, the wiki version of the script was like repairing every vehicle on the map so if I repaired this banshee and then there was another car outside the paint spray it would repair that vehicle and basically like any vehicle that was damaged on the map it would repair if I went into that marker and you know so I didn't want that I just wanted it to repair the vehicle I was in so I found like a script where someone was like asking basically the same question with Elsif and all that and I ended up finding a script to uh, just repair the vehicle that you put into the marker so that's another thing I made the door go down and then back up when hitting the marker as you've seen when I go into the marker it goes down and closes and then after five seconds it opens which is the same amount of time it takes to repair your vehicle so by the time your re vehicle gets repaired you can drive back out um, and basically, let's see if this is still a thing. If you can close the door without being in a car. Yeah, so if you're like not in a car, you could like do this and then fuck the door up. Like really bad like that. And then like something like that happens. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, at least it says you're not in a vehicle. That's something. So, like, if I were to fix, like, something like that, I would need to, uh... I could do one of two things. I could make the marker extend all the way out here. So, which is really not ideal. So if you, like, went in here, then you couldn't go outside the marker. And then mess the door up. And then you would just leave. Or I could set it to where, you know, the else if you're like not in a car, then if you go into this marker on foot, then you can't close the door. Which is more ideal, that's basically what I want to do with the car as well. Um, so, you know, like if you ran into here and then you just mess the door up like that. On top of that, you don't want to get locked in there if you're not in a car. Even if it is for five seconds. So that's another thing I gotta fix with the Elsif as well. Um, but yeah, as of right now, it just says your vehicle's restored, right? It didn't used to do that either. So I also added a delay for when the vehicle, the door comes back up, which is the five seconds, as I said, and then the thing. <clears throat> God, my throat is like really fucked up. It usually is. But, uh, yeah. Always sucks when it's on video. But, uh, things I want to add are, uh, figure out how to make the pay and spray not take away money when you don't have enough. Which, as you can see, because of that, I have minus $600. It doesn't take money away when I'm on foot, though, so, I mean, I don't know. Um, and then figure out how to make pay and spray not fix the vehicle when you don't have enough money, which is basically what that other dude's script was doing. I mean, it didn't fix the car at all, so that was kind of a problem. So that's kind of why that, you know, it wasn't a thing. Um, then after fixing the script, make the pay and spray sounds. So as you can hear, I guess, um, when I go into the pay and spray, it doesn't make any sounds. So once I fix the script, I want to add like pay and spray sound. So when the door closes, it makes the pay and spray sound, I guess, you know, the garage door closing and then maybe some repair sounds to accompany that. Um, and then make pay and spray cost money, which we already did that. We just need to figure out how to make it not cost money when you don't have enough money. And then, yeah, add the pay and spray sound effect, which is, uh, Kind of like the same thing that I was just saying right here. 
but yeah, that's basically uh, what's going on. So, I'm going to mess with the script and try to figure this out. And I might make like a... I might make like a... What's it called? Uh, speed art or something. Uh, of me fixing the pan spray script. And yeah, that'll probably be the final video and then we'll see the pan spray actually function the way it's supposed to. But I don't know when that's gonna be because the script is pretty tough to finish for me anyway, so we'll see what happens, but thanks for watching and hopefully you guys see the finished product in the near future.